How do I edit the contact page in my premium press theme? Well, let me show you how. In front of me, we have one of our premium WordPress themes. This is the dating theme. However, the video is the same for all of our premium press themes. So if I click on the contact page in my menu at the top here, this is the default contact page. So it's very simple and very easy. So what I wanna do here in this video is show you how to edit this page and how do I customize it, etc. So the first thing we're gonna do is learn how to change some of the design elements. So we go to the admin area. Okay, we click on premium press and we're going to be loading the site manager. So we click on the site manager button here or here or any of the other pages that serve this site manager button. So this is what this site manager looks like. It's an overview of all of the pages that you can customize within the actual premium press theme. Now, the first thing you'll notice at the top is this message. It says Elementor not installed. So obviously, if you're going to be customizing this page in Elementor, you need to install Elementor. Now, the great thing again about premium press themes is that you do not need the pro version. You can use the free version and that's all we've ever done when we've created this theme. So there's no need for a pro version. So we click on install Elementor and we go ahead and install the latest version. Now, I already have Elementor installed, so I'm just gonna activate it. So we can go to the admin area, we can click on plugins, we can scroll down, find Elementor and click active. So that will then activate the plugin. I go back to my editor, I give it a refresh, and then the message has disappeared from the top. So let's go ahead and have a look for the contact page. So we can see all the different pages, and we've found the contact page here. Now we can have a few options. Obviously we can translate the page, we can click and set our own design. But what I'm gonna do first is click on view. Okay, so we can verify that this is the page I'm going to be editing, okay? And now what I'm going to do is click on edit. Now, when I click edit, it's going to create a page in Elementor. So it's going to create a new page. Okay. And it's going to assign that page to my contact page, which means from here on after all of the um, people that load the contact page are going to see the changes I make here in Elementor. So make sure you've changed it correctly before you obviously you go live because this will be now visible on your website. So how do I change the content? Oh, very, very easy. Click on it and then put your own text in. It really is that simple. Again, click on it and add my own text. And once I've made the changes I want, click on update, okay, and go back and then preview about the page using the same concept. So I click on view page. Okay, as you can see, all of the changes I have made are now there. I'll give you a quick overview of some of the options in a minute, but let me just quickly show you. When you edit a page and it's a newly created page, this icon here will go yellow, and it means that you are no longer using the default theme page, you're using a page created in Elementor. So as you can see here, there is a contact page assigned. So as you can see, the first one on the list, and this is the automatic page that's created for you because when you clicked on the Elementor button, uh, a new page was created. So if at any time you decide, oh no, I've made a real hash of this page, it's now a complete mess, I wanna go back to the default one, all you've gotta do is click this button and then select the default template. And that will then load from then on after the default layout for that design. And it works the same concept for all of the pages within our premium press themes. If you make a mess, just click on um, the icon and then go back and click the default template. So let's just go back to the actual page. As you can see here, this is my Elementor page. You'll notice again with Elementor, if you hover over a block, um, there are additional options to change. On the left hand side are all the default options, which you've got title, subtitle, description. Do note that with um, premium press themes, because we have so many themes that not all of the um, attributes here on the left hand side will apply to that block. But um, basically you can just click on the elements you want to change and obviously fill in the details. And that's really the kind of concept with the premium press theme block system is that we've done all the hard work for you. All you gotta do is fill in the details um, with your own content. Again, things like the image. Okay, we just click on the options here. We click on image, we choose an image. So we find an image from our library. Okay, let's click on that one. And then it'll change the image to display on your website. Make sure again, you change your set, you update your changes anytime to make sure that they're live. And we go back to our website. Okay, give the contact page a refresh. Okay, and we have our new content displayed. And it really is that simple. Obviously, if I wanted to add some new blocks, for example, I can click on this little plus icon, and then I can use the L, uh, the premium press option here, this little blue button, and the, the premium press P, click on that. Okay, and then I've got hundreds of new block elements that I can add anytime. I can click on some text options here. I can scroll down and find one I like, or I can just click the first one, completely fine. Click this, it's gonna load it into the page above. And if I decide, for example, I wanted this under here, I can just drag it under. Okay, that's simple, and then change the content. Okay, update. 
give my page a refresh. Okay, and my new content is now visible. Very, very simple. It really is that that easy with Elementor. And especially with the new block system within Premium Press, as you can see, we have the Elementor 2 icons here, and we now have our own icon. So we have our own system here where we can import pages, set up content, etc. So to add content to your page, just use the block option here and then import the sections you want. Um, let me just quickly show you some additional options with the, with the actual contact page. So as you can see, we can customize the layout, obviously within Premium Press. Now, obviously we have things like a contact form. Now this contact form is gonna go to the email you have set in your um, WordPress admin. So let's go to the admin area. Okay, click on settings. Okay, the options you have here, so in this case, I've got admin, admin. This is the admin email, and this is where your notifications are gonna be sent. Now also notice that in Premium Press, we have things called emails. So we can click on email, email settings, and this allows you to customize some of the emails. So make sure again, if you uh, wanna change any of the emails, you click on manage emails, and you can change some of the options here as well. Now the contact form message here, just to save any confusion, this is the one that goes to the user and not the admin. So I would turn that on, and then if I was on a listing page and I sent a message to a user, then they would get a notification with here. The default one, so again, this the contact form here, goes to the use the admin email. So again, it goes to the one you've set in the admin area. So again, settings, general, this email. This is a default contact form message and it will be sent to this email. There will also be a notification added to your admin account. So if I click on, for example, my account, you will also find a copy of this email here. And we can do that just to preview it here. So we go again to the contact page. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. We'll just give it some testing data. Okay, so the message is sent and you'll notice you'll get a new message in the admin here and it'll be now visible in the admin too. Okay, so you've got messages visible here. And this is simply a backup because some people are having issues with getting emails. Nothing to do with the theme. It's completely down to your hosting because we have no uh, email plugin options within the theme. They're all sent by your hosting provider. So it's kind of a backup just in case you are not getting the email. So they're also visible in the members area here. So there we go, a very quick introduction on where to find the contact page, how to edit it, and obviously some of the options like changing emails as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll keep creating content just like this one. Thank you, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.